I play board games because I love meeting new people and finding out their personalities through their actions through the game. It's different than playing video games. You don't see the person, you don't know their, their inflections until you just see their face and how they react when you play a good move or you play a bad move or, or just an impulsive move. It's just seeing their reactions is what, what sparks my interest when I'm playing board games with other people, especially a nice big uh, crowd of people. I like the way that you have to think when you're playing board games. You have to consider sort of what actions are available, what your choices are. You have to be able to plan ahead and see how that interacts with everyone else and how they're playing the game, how they're uh, plotting what they're trying to do, how they interact with pressure, how they deal with competition. And you get to see how they play the game. Are they aggressive? Are they passive? You know, are they trying to butter you up, trying to get advantage from you socially, or are they, they just focused on the game? Are they, they really strictly in the working on the mechanics? That's not something that you're going to see if you just happen to meet somebody in a bar and talk to them for 15 minutes. You're only going to see them in one particular context, whereas board games keep giving different situations, which allows you to see them. Uh, you get to see a lot of different sides of them, rather than just one aspect. And that's fascinating. I really like the way that board games are a lot more of an interactive way to spend your time. With board games you are constantly dealing with people, with the rules and the strategy of, of what's happening on the board. You're constantly engaged in thinking about the whole process. Whereas if I was to compare that to TV, TV is just like sitting there blobbing on the couch letting stuff just come at you. And you don't really have to pay attention, you don't really learn much. When I watch TV, I get up thinking I've actually just wasted my time. Whereas when I play the board games, I really feel like I've used that time well. It has stretched me and I've had to uh, put in some mental effort to do it. So one of the things that I really like about board games is that there's an element of chance and unpredictability. It's sort of like how card games, no card game is exactly the same, even if you play the same game twice. It all really depends on how you shuffle the deck, but at the same time, there's a sort of social predictability. Like you have to be able to understand the other people and as you interact with them, you learn how they play the game and how they strategize. And from there, you find consistency in an unpredictable game. What I find interesting about board gaming is that there's like a social component to it that you don't really find in other forms of gaming. I mean, video gaming is mostly, uh, it used to be a very social experience. It used to be you get together with your group of friends and you play games, and, you know, whether it's two of you or it's four of you, and it'd be, you know, just that. It'd be, it'd be playing games with your friends. And as, as the industry has gone on and as time has gone on, uh, gaming has gone online. And so it's now it's become from playing with your friends in the same room to you're playing with your friends over the internet to then you're playing with random strangers and then you see that as video games become more cinematic, they become more scripted and more directed and they're, you know, there's clearly like a guiding hand behind them. Like I know that that exists in board gaming too, but there's that added social element is it kind of boils down to the essence of what made me sort of, what made me really interested in you know, video gaming when I was younger. It was getting together in a room with people who are like-minded, who enjoy the experience of playing games and, and learning new things.